Welcome back, everybody. This is Rich Giordano reporting for Third Phase UFO Report. Tonight, we're going to go to Antarctica with Jean Ward and Mars. There's a connection, though. You may have seen this Antarctica footage before or these structures, but I don't think you've seen it like this unless you know of Jean Ward's work. This connection between Antarctica, Earth, and Mars pretty amazing. So I'm going to take you out there first and then we're going to look at some more Mars anomalies, structures, and things that really shouldn't be there or we're told that they shouldn't be there. So let's get started with the Antarctica Mars connection video. Here we go. In three, we're just going to start right from the beginning. You're going to see all of Jean Ward stuff right here. Here we go. The intro and everything. Here we go. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jean here with all Mars anomalies and strange artifacts found in Antarctica. This video I call strange artifacts in Antarctica that look like those found on Mars. Third phase of Moon recently published this video to YouTube in which they showed us some rather weird artifacts and structures that have been found in Antarctica. And we'll be having a look at uh, these as uh, well as some others that I covered in a previous video some time ago. So there they are. We've got that uh, row of four blocks or structures over there with these strange protrusions or knobs on them. And uh, there they are up close and each one is about 15 meters in length. And we can see on top we've got these smaller parts. Very similar to those I found on Mars. There's uh, just one example of uh, one of these. A very strange uh, rectangular structure with this rectangular block on top. Very similar to this one. And then this one down here, I found another one on Mars that looks Okay, already we're dipping into a little bit of weirdness here. This is extremely close. It is almost a match. I know this is covered with snow and the one on Mars is, you know, it's on Mars. But we don't know what this is. On We don't know what's here in Antarctica, but it sure looks like this. Wow. And this is similar as well. And you can see there's these lines that look like this may be a roof or maybe a I don't know it looks like a tank kind of deal but I don't know there is a these are structures I don't think these are rocks and I think these are structures which look like rocks all right let's continue it's very very similar and uh, there are some researchers that have uh, spoken about a race of uh, alien beings that fled Mars in the distant past and uh, landed in Antarctica where they established a base. So could we be looking at uh, remnants of these uh, strange structures? These might be blocks that have been unearthed. And uh, there's the first block that I showed you guys right up there in the left corner and it's about 15 meters long. And there it is up close, guys. Check that out. There's the other one. This is about 10 to 12 meters long. And it has the protrusion or knob in its center. Very similar to those four that have been lined up there in Antarctica. And then we're looking at uh, this train structure next to this makeshift airfield, also in Antarctica. We'll be having a look at uh, these up close. So check that out. 
rather strange activity going on here. Some speculate uh, this might be the guys that were living in that uh, makeshift underground structure that were bored and they played. Anything is possible at this point, uh, I have to admit. Uh... You know, looking more into this, let me go back just a, a few frames here because I saw something, I think maybe you caught it too, when he showed us the the blocks here. Let me show you here. Let me see if this is where it is. Because I thought there were some lines on the blocks that he showed, like one of the, the first one here. Let me see. It looks like there might be some striation here. That's that's similar. Let me open up the frame for you. you. See what I mean down here? It looks like there's lines on here. I don't know if they go all the way through, but if you look at what's in Antarctica and those four uh, tank-looking things, man, I, I don't know. It kind of looks similar. You know, you could... Uh, make a case for these lines that are these grooves or whatever that are in these ships and these these ships these uh tanks these uh, homes structures i don't know but it's awfully strange and then he got into this strange looking airport here so let's go back there and see what else is going on this is it's just strange i never saw this blood maybe hydraulic fluid who knows and there's that other weird structure. Wow. Check out the ribbed design. Almost like uh, an underground structure that uh, was uh, discovered. And uh, later photographs show that this area was uh, covered in snow again. So who knows what's going on there. And then these uh, wow. strange little pyramidal structures close by and there they are up close each one's about uh, <laughs> 60 meters long check out the spacing between these guys and girls They're pretty much equidistant and there's some similar ones that are found on mars wow and each one of these is also about uh, yeah, okay so what are they you know can't tell what they are nobody can tell us are they old uh, pyramids? Are they old trees? Um, are they... I don't know, man. I mean, that's Mars we're looking at. Check this out. It's very similar. Although this is snowblown, but Mars has uh, sand blown lines going through here this is a uh, pretty wild i mean you could even say these are triangles they just got covered in dirt dust look here's a, here's a, a group of three right here pretty interesting gene ward so i want to take a look at one more thing that he has here because it's amazing so I'm, I'm going to skip a little bit forward here on this one. We already saw the intro, but I want you to know where we're going here on Mars in case you guys want to check it out yourself. So let me bring, uh, I guess I should bring it back up. Let's start this again. Here we go. Up next in this grand tour, we're looking at a vast region of Mars in the southern mid-latitudes called Noir Pestera. The anomalies in this one are going to blow you away, guys. Absolutely. In the first Grand Tour, we looked at Elysium Planitia, which is this huge plain at the equator of Mars, where we find a rover Curiosity and the inside lander. We also had a look at uh, the pyramidal structures and megalithic blocks, amongst others, that we found there. Then we had a look at Argaia Planitia, which is down in the southern mid-latitudes. And uh, just to the east of that, we'll be looking at Noarchus Terra next. Just check how vast this region is. It measures approximately 2,500 kilometers 
by approximately 1,500 kilometers. And like I did with uh, Argaia Planitia, I'm going to divide this up into four quadrants. It's going to make it a lot easier for me to keep track of all the anomalies. Let's draw a line through there. Right. So I thought it would be nice just to see how he processes and uh, goes through his analysis and, and his search. So I thought that's why I would leave that in here. Um, you know, in case you want to do this yourself, maybe you could reach out to Jean Ward and he'll help you like he's helping me. Uh, this is pretty interesting that uh, he cordons them off this way. It's easier to find and go back to, I guess, but uh, I'm going to continue. Here we go. Let's zoom up to the top left quadrant and have a look at those anomalies. There's a lot here, folks. So what I'll do is I'll go from uh, top to bottom. We look at outline of large structures spotted north of Asimov. And that's where my friend Saturn Hawk found this huge structure, the outline of what looks like it could have been a tanker, Maybe it's an old structure, who knows what that is. That there, if I can recall correctly, is about 300 meters long, the right angle of the air. And there's an outline that I put onto it, just for clarity. And then we're looking here to the west, where I found strange megalithic. So it's obvious we're seeing a lot of these objects with little monoliths on top but most of these are 15 meters across they're all uniform pretty much in their size which to me seems like it was made or built you know it's as if they found a formula there on mars that works 15 meters we can make a very comfortable environment for ourselves whoever lived there Either these are destroyed structures or these are rocks that have this strange thing coming out the center of them. And a lot of them have one, two, three of these things that come out. You can see here in the picture. It's very odd. I, I don't understand. I still don't understand it. So I, I think they're structures. And a lot of people just refuse to believe it. They're, they're going to tell me and you that it's pareidolia, but I don't really know. To be honest, nobody does. Blocks and uh, patterns with strange little glyphs placed on top of larger parts. Check out that L-shaped piece mm -hmm. with the quarter rounded part that fits into it. See that on Mars quite often as well. It's lying on top of what looks like a megalith. But why? Why do we see this all over Mars? Why? Not all over, but in these rocky regions, we see this. It's, it's kind of weird. I'm going to move a little bit forward. Uh, I believe there was something I definitely wanted to show you before we get out of here. I think this was it. Yeah. Being covered recent activity as well with the darker surface material being visible it's one of the megalithic blocks that looks very similar to those four that was discovered down in antarctica that were lying next to one another all right right then uh, up next is asimov this looks like a piece of machinery or technology with the multiple rectangular designs on it. Unbelievable. I've even compared that to like a piece of uh, air conditioning, air conditioning ducts. Not that it is, folks, but it does look pretty similar. Then we've got more megalithic blocks and slabs. And uh, my friend Saturn Ark Here we discovered go. these. And then a uh, strange cube with the. Uh, they, it even has, you could see, it, it, it 
comes to a point like a roof so in case it rained you know it would have somewhere to drain and uh, you know a lot of these just have the center thing sticking out in the middle is an interesting one right here I, I think he goes back to the one where he just went over I want to see that oval spherical object next to it it also has a like a flattened dome like protrusion on one side and this is about six by six meters in size hmm. so although they look small in these images they are relatively huge if it's look at this that looks like there's some graphics on it or some design think about it look at this if you stand next to an item that's five by five meters it's uh it's pretty huge there's a strange off a disc shaped object look at the straight edges on this one side perfect right angle there and then it's got a hole close to the center right what he's doing is absolutely amazing work um i tried getting into the mars uh to do what he's doing i was going to do something like this and it takes a lot of time that i didn't have so you have to give a guy like jean ward some kudos here because he's put in a lot of hours to find this stuff Look, I'm just learning how to do it and it gets frustrating and an hour goes by and what feels like five minutes. These are some weird structures coming up here. You've got to check this out. I forgot about this. So a little bonus right here on third phase UFO report. Hey, if you like what you see uh, and you're enjoying what we're doing here on third phase UFO report, you know, give us a a thumbs up and share it like us subscribe us whatever you guys do on the tubes you know <laughs> just we want to keep this channel around forever want to make it a network so doc skinner at 1028 productions dr j live radio yeah uh, john can use this platform and uh talk about the things that are going on here in the strange and the unbelievable ufology world that we live in um michael roser from dark hour paranormal myself um and there's a couple others out there who who'll be chipping in eventually but this is a growing platform so your support is very well needed we want to grow and make this a, a really good home for you and for us and for everybody ufology really it's not about us it's about the greater good of ufology. We're here for the greater good. I saw today, somebody said that the third phase of moon was hoaxing the Mars video. He's calling it a hoax. And I just couldn't believe what I was seeing. I'm like, <laughs> we, we never said that. People are gonna turn around what they, what they want to make their debunk fit their narrative. Not one of us said that the Mars video that was posted a day or two ago was legit we we had a feeling it wasn't real we all said it but um third phase ufo report is open-minded and we're gonna let you decide even though we have our opinions i like to give my opinion i think i've been in the field long enough maybe michael will give his opinion but maybe he is believes more than me or doc or dr j we all believe at a different level just like you so whether you believe Jean Ward's got pareidolia here or real structures on Mars and Antarctica, mainly Mars, I mean, that's totally your right to do that and believe what you want. But let's be respectful and uh, enjoy what's what's happening here on Third Phase UFO Report. I didn't mean to get on my soapbox. I just get a little frustrated when I see people lying about Third Phase of Moon making a hoax. I mean, come on. All right, here we go. A little bonus for... Jean Ward's Mars finds in three, two, go. That looks like it could be off of a face. We've got the eye there, the nose. Yeah, I've uh, mirrored that one object and uh, it looks pretty much like a face. Could this be um, a natural occurring 
Who knows? A geology or is this uh, a sculpted piece? Oh, so this looks like Iron Man kind of right here. This is the half of the face. So he mirrored it. That's what this is. That looks like Iron Iron Man. That's crazy, half of it. But that's an interesting find. I think there's one more. And is it possibly a wow. piece of a face? A sculpted piece. Also, I've uh, discovered another one of these on Mars. It's got the surrounded part, rectangular shape at the back, with a small protrusion on the one side, in the middle of that one side there. See if I can find it in. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode of Third Phase UFO Report. I'm Rich Giordano from Goofon. You can find me every day except for Sunday at Goof on 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 Pacific live. And don't forget to keep checking back. Click on that bell and get all the notifications. We'll be uploading pretty much daily from here on out. So if you ain't looking up, you ain't looking out for ufology. Good night, everybody.